Well, what are we going to do about the tail? And I had to put some thought into this and I thought, well, I'll, I'll sit down and I'll stare at it and see what I can come up with. I think I've got it right first time. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing while I'm halfway through it. Okay, you may come up with a, a different solution. I don't know. What am I talking about? Well, I've got the nose cone on. All right, so now we're going to do more or less the same thing with the tail. Now, I thought to myself, shall I make another one of these put to this shape and then cut it into four? And I thought, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And I thought, okay, what am I going to do? Well, I came up with this, basically. Um, and I'll take it apart. Now, this is, uh, I think, is it one, one sixteenth, is it? One sixteenth? Can't remember. Whatever the... Uh, Yeah, one sixteenth. It's one sixteenth. So it's the cut off from the horizontal stabilizer. So if that fits, the horizontal stabilizer fits. And I thought, how am I going to do this? So I'm going to show you basically take this apart. Yeah, if I can, it's in rather well actually. A bit of a tight fit. There you go. So you've got to trace around there. Now I'm going to turn the uh, the camera down just so you can see what I can see basically. I hope you can see that. Let's have a look. Yeah come back a little bit. There we are. So we're talking about this this piece here. So that's got a slot in there like that. Now what I did was I did um, a rough cut of this, held it up to the back end there, and then I go like that there. That's it, that's that side. Okay, go like that. Draw around the fuzz, and then draw around this side here. So you end up with that basically, and making sure you put a line down. I didn't use a pencil in this instance, I used a pen, but uh, what you do, make sure you draw down that slot, okay? Now, so if you do that both sides, what you'll end up with is, is that. You'll end up with that. <coughs> so, how do I get these slots to line up? Well, because I've already got um, a line drawn on it, you see all the lines there I've drawn. What I did do, I got hold of, um, you can use a 1 16th drill or you can use a 1.5. 1.5 is the nearest you're gonna to get to 1 16th. Put this into the pillar drill, because the pillar drill won't accept uh, a drill bit this small so I've got an adapter so I know I've drilled that in absolutely vertically that's important you've got to get this absolutely vertical because if it's vertical you know it's going to come out the right size the, the right size the right place the other side okay just a bit of, bit of crap in there so you've got to get that absolutely vertical to come out same place the other side okay get your knife use your other block here get yourself um, a steel rule like that so that's steel rules resting on that bit of wood there and you just carefully slice it down keeping the knife absolutely vertical okay and then just take out a little bit at a time a little v like that do it the other side, see a little bit of crap there. Okay. In fact, I need to get rid of that. There you go. Okay, until you get all the way through. Then you take your 1 16th drill or your 1.5, put it in the slot, and then just keep doing that. And that 
will open it all up nicely. Okay, and because you're using the off cut of the sheet, we come with a kit, you know that's the correct size. You pop it through and that slides in firmly but nicely. And then of course, if you put them together, like that, that then enables you to have them squared up like that. And then if you need to, you can get yourself a, uh, a block, some glass paper on it, and then you can just square things up as you need to. And because you doubled up, you know the other side's gonna be the same. And that that's how I've approached it. So I'm not saying this is the right way, it's just how I'm doing it. You may have a better way. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is each side's got to go on. There you go, because there's there's that little thing that mark. Don't don't cut that out. Leave that flat. See that there? Leave that flat. Don't cut it out. You need that flat to support the uh, horizontal stabilizer. Because that was just slot in. So next thing you do, well, what I'm next thing I'm going to do is glue these on using a slow setting glue. It's got, it gives me a chance to fiddle around a little bit. Okay. And then, what I'm gonna do then, is pop that in. Like so. Put that through there. Got that upside down actually. Turn it over. Put that through. Like that. Same with the other side, hopefully. It's upside down again. that will hold things in place while it's setting now the only uh, let's have a look so there's your gap for your horizontal stabilizer okay that's what you want you want that gap all right and there's the bottom so you won't have a gap at the bottom it's just at the top so that will hold things in place in the correct place how it should be using your slow setting glue. All right, and then once that's gone off, you can pop this out if you want to, and then I'm just gonna use the knife just to knock the corner off. Knock that corner off. Not all the way down, just enough. So then I can get some maybe 80 grit, just to get it into some sort of basic shape, and then use a finer grit to finish it off, round it off, and then that tail will then be ready. And that's how I am approaching that. That's how it's turned out. It's turned out better than I thought it would. So there you are. You can see how the tail lines up now. This is the, uh, the scrap bit of balsa, by the way, not the... Uh, horizontal stabiliser is supposed to go in there. That's just there as a, as a gauge to make sure I'm on the right track. So, you know, closer look there. So you can see I'll, I'll follow the contour of the uh, existing tail former. Uh, there's a slot for your horizontal stabiliser. There's a slot for your horizontal, uh, vertical stabiliser, I apologise. So, now you can see why you shouldn't cut out that shape because that has now got to, let's use a bit of cardboard if it will slot in, that's no, too big. But it's got to slot in like that, okay? And all I did was I just got my scalpel, took away the sharp edges. Um, that's the template for the back to so put that on, drew around it. So I knew more or less how close I could 
cut it with the scale bit. Okay, and you know, it looked pretty rough. So then I got my, I think it's 80 grit, went round it, the 80 grit, and went down up a bit to uh, 120 grit. And then I went up again to whatever this is, I don't know, 400 grit. And then once I got it shaped and I, I was happy that uh, where it meets the uh, stringers here, it was meeting nice and smooth and everything. I then uh, went up to the 800 and that came out pretty good. This got filled up full of crap. Yeah, there's a bit of crap in there actually. Yeah, that'll come out eventually. Anyway, uh, and then I happened to have some 1500s and I went, and that's how it's turned out. So actually that, was a lot easier than I thought. That took me about 20 minutes tops. So uh, yeah, so we now have the nose on, we now have the tail on, the wings are on, the stringers are on. Um, I've got to put some support in for the, um, what do they call it on here? For the pylon. This is where the pylon goes, the front support for the uh, Porsche jet. So just put some uh, 1 16th either side of that okay and it just slots in then we're not far away what i might do is put some um maybe some one sixteenths here uh between former one and former two just to sort of tart it up a bit um and then we're not far away uh the underside has to be done. i have to look at that how this moat is going to go in we have to put some uh silver foil in here uh, I'll have to have a look at that. And once I know where I'm going, what I should be doing, uh, I will then tissue it. Now, I have to reiterate, I do not like covering. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Um, well, I'm not as good as some anyway. There's some people on YouTube, they do some absolutely quality tissue covering. Um, and I think it's just one of those things, you're either born to it or you're not. Anyway, digressing slightly. So that's where we're at with that groovy cat. And uh, let, let's see what's next. In order to try and avoid the inevitable covering of tissue, I've added some extra balsa to the nose there and sanded it down. Um, because actually, I haven't, I haven't weighed this yet. So you see what it weighs? Yeah, give a little weigh machine. I can't do it too accurately because uh, I haven't got a stand to stand it on. Let's see if I can uh, put that like that there. So, so far, there we go. Seventeen, seventeen grams. Okay, so there we are, seventeen grams. And I think we're allowed to go up to is it 51 grams. I can't remember. It'll be uh, written down somewhere here, I expect. But never mind. I'll look it up later. So there we are. Uh, because, I, you know, if you've got to add nose weight, you might as well add some strength to it. So that's, that's what I've done. Um, I'm quite keen on adding strength rather than if I've got to add nose weight. So uh, there you go. So that's where we are now. So what I'm going to do now with that, because I've done a lot of sanding on it, um, I am going to get my thinners. I'm going to get the sanding sealer and uh, I am now going to cover that, let it go off, do a very light sand and then put a second coat on, do another very light sand, and then, oh, I've got to start the tissuing. <laughs> okay, and uh, what the idea is, is that I will try and create a shape with tissue where it more or less fits, and then, because it's got, it'll have dope already on it, um, all I've got to do is get pure thinners, and just brush the thinners and then that'll take 
stick to that and do the same with the tail. And then there's two ways of doing this. I can either try and do a top piece with the tissue and a bottom piece, or I can probably go around in circles for a certain circle at a time. Um, I haven't decided which way to do that yet. Uh, so we'll see. And uh, so tissueing is next. There you go. It's time to say goodbye.